Hey there, it's Shauna. I hope you're doing great. This is your weekly astrology forecast for the week of October 3rd. Can you believe it's October? So crazy. So uh, this week is all about honoring your power and um, it's going to be a really intense week. I'm excited to share some information to you and uh, some things to watch out for to help you along the week as well. So uh, the biggest thing that I want you to know is I'm going to share some information with you about a certain planet and this planet is directly related to your personal sense of power, your ability to navigate your life and to be um, to be an authority figure in your life versus a victim. And um, this planet in particular that I'm going to share with you typically has a negative connotation. So uh, this planet is the planet Pluto. So if you know anything about Pluto, I want you to just take that and set it right over here for a second. So just like any preconceptions that you have about what Pluto means or what Pluto does to you or for you, I want you to just set it aside just for a second, okay? <laughs> um, and so I say that because uh, Pluto gets a really bad rap and Pluto can be intense um, or it can be intense when there are aspects involving Pluto. But ultimately, Pluto is really about healing, and um, Pluto is about your inner power. And it's about the power that comes to you from, uh, from deep healing and deep wounds, especially like karmic kind of stuff, familial kind of stuff, stuff with your family, and um, power issues around sexuality as well, creative sexual energy. Uh, so all of these themes may come up for you. Um, they may or may not. I'm going to give you a lot of possibilities on how this can manifest. Um, but I just want to share with you that um, this aspect with Pluto this week, it does not have to be negative. Um, it does not have to hurt you. It does not have to cause suffering. And I think there's a big difference between intensity and suffering. Um, so to use an example, um, when you go to yoga class maybe, or if you go to work out, you can have like an intense workout. You can have an intense sensation in your body, especially if you're doing cardio or something like that. It, that shit is intense sometimes. Your heart's beating, everything's firing. Uh, but that does not necessarily mean that when you're pushing your body in that way that you are suffering. It's for a purpose and it ultimately makes you stronger. So that's how I want you to think of as Pluto. Pluto, um, it, it amps everything up so that your senses are heightened and your creative energy and your intuition and your sexual energy is heightened and then you can use that. So it may feel intense in the moment, which is a possibility for this week, but it just is, uh, it's creating a new experience for you to step into yourself more. So all that being said, uh, this week we have an aspect where the sun, which is like a big spotlight, the sun um, illuminates things, is making a square to Pluto. So the sun is in Libra, which is all about harmony and balance and justice and relationships, and it's um, squaring Pluto. Square is like a, a little bit of a tension. It creates friction. And Pluto's in Capricorn, which is all about power. And especially um, power to do the things that you need to do that are right in the world. And so I see this, um, so this aspect is happening um, throughout this week. And then we have the first quarter phase of the moon in Capricorn on Friday. So the moon is actually going to meet with Pluto in the middle of this aspect, which um, is kind of like a spark um, to it. So I see this as being a week where you may feel a strong conviction about things. You may be asked to step into your power about something. You may be asked to make a decision or to make an acknowledgement on what is right and what is not right, to take care of something in a way that that uses your personal sense of power and puts you in a, a position of being an authority for yourself. And so again, this could manifest in a variety of different ways. I just want you to notice as I'm talking as well, like if there's anything that you're thinking of, any certain situations, um, because aspects like this, there's always like a lead up to it. So um, whatever happens this week, there may have been something stewing or brewing underneath the surface. Um, the other interesting thing with this aspect this week is that 
um, it's a, a it's a small part of a bigger cycle. So um, I would be curious to know for you if there was anything that happened um, January 9th or around there that that is coming up for you again. It's like a similar theme or something like that, especially around again personal power and doing what you feel is right for you and for other people and it's fair and just. Um, and that's because that was like the beginning of this cycle between the Sun and Pluto. So it's like a closing cycle now. Um, so again, uh, it may feel a little bit intense because Pluto does um, heighten sensitivity for things and it does, Pluto does tend to expose to you places in which you would, would um, places in which there's something unconscious that needs to be healed. So uh, Pluto unearths things from your subconscious mind and when the Sun is involved with Pluto like this the Sun puts a big spotlight on it so again it may feel a little bit tender this week so um, suggestions that I would have for you my friend is to number one hardcore self-care this week take care of yourself whatever you like to do those guilty pleasures that are not destructive um, you know take a bath watch your favorite movies or your favorite Netflix um, get some good comfort food. All of that stuff is really good this week because uh, that is going to put you in a position to make more skillful decisions because you're going to feel better when you take care of yourself in that way. Uh, number two is to notice where you get triggered this week. Pluto energy will trigger things and so um, when I say trigger this means um, when do you have a strong emotional reaction to something? Especially if it's something where you normally wouldn't have such a strong emotional reaction. So it could be something as simple as someone criticizing your work or asking you about your body or um, feeling like frustrated because um, you're working on a certain project that's challenging for you, whatever it is. If you have a strong emotion, um, if you have a strong emotional response to something, that's like a trigger. So I would just notice that because that's going to be guidance for you on what is coming up for you this week and what's, um, what's meant to be healed within you this week. So, um, so that's that. And then the second thing is I highly suggest, especially Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, do some free writing, do some journaling. And this may be something that you want to share with people. Maybe there's some insights that come to you. Maybe it's just for you. But I highly suggest writing things down. And that's because um, another part of this is that Mercury is coming out of its shadow period. Mercury is actually going into Libra this week. And so um, when Mercury goes out of its shadow period from the retrograde that we had a few weeks ago, that means that your mind is clear. It means that anything that you were reanalyzing and revisiting and retooling in your mind, it, it's all been put into place, so to speak, as much as possible at least. <laughs> so, um, so I think that's a really beautiful combination with this Sun and Pluto energy where there's um, Sun and Pluto, something that, that you're healing, something that you're unearthing inside of your subconscious and inside of your heart, and then you can make sense of it. And uh, Mercury and Libra is, um, it is, Libra is an air sign and it's more mm, analytical, It's there's like a diplomacy there. So I would be really interested, again, that's why I was like, maybe you want to share it with someone, maybe not, I don't know, but there may be something where whatever it is that, that you come to this week, whatever realization or insights or healing that you have, it may be appropriate to share some of that wisdom with someone else or with several people. And that's the other really cool thing about Pluto is that any healing that you go through, it's not just for you. Uh, Pluto is, it, it's very much generational and it's very much about the collective as well. So whatever it is that you're going through, there is someone else that is also going through that similar struggle or that similar pain or that similar wound. And there's something that you have to offer through your healing. I don't care if you consider yourself a healer or not, um, we're all healing each other. And we're doing that by being the best versions of ourselves that we can muster in the moment and, and sharing ourselves with one another. So, so that is this week. And I know it sounds like a little intense, but I think it'll be really healing. And I think that uh, there's a lot to gain from 
from being compassionate with yourself and there's a lot to gain from uh, noticing your responses to things. So again, so tips, self-care, hardcore self-care, and um, the second thing is to notice your triggers. And the third thing is to write all of that shizzle down. <laughs> so uh, I hope that you have an amazing week. I'm sending you lots and lots of love. And um, let me know how you're doing. Let me know how you're feeling. I always love to hear back from you guys. And uh, share this video with a friend if you like it. I would love that. <laughs> Wishing you a wonderful week. And I'll talk to you soon. Namaste. Mwah.